The excitement for Granite Auto 6 is reaching new heights with the game slotted for a 2025 release. The December 2023 reveal trailer provided a tantalizing glimpse of Vice City and its main characters, but much remains unknown. Now, rumors suggest that GT6 will feature an unexpected single-player DLC post-launch, reviewing the tradition of a story expansion that was missing in GTA 5. Fans are speculating about possible new locations for these expansions, including the Caribbean islands or even a nod to the classic GTA London 1969. This potential move by Rockstar could finally satisfy the demand for post-launch narrative content, making GTA 6 even more monumental. And we're starting off with something really interesting that we have here. So will this impact the GT6 development time? As the past says, uh, SAG AFTRA members in the video game industry will strike on July 26 due to the failed negotiations. But there is one more thing that you should know before that. Relax lads, the strike isn't gonna delay the game. GT6 in the, is in the very late stages of production with nearly always work completed. Take-Two themselves even said the strike won't change a thing back in November. Take-Two CEO says a GT6 is completely protected from delays if voice actors strike, but that he says uh, he doesn't expect it'll come to do that. So updated November 8, 2023 is if you, if you wish to know that you go. Next up, GTA 6 or Granite Auto 6 should take a page out of the original GTA's book in one area. The hype surrounding Granite Auto 6 is stronger than ever with the game being confirmed for a 2025 release window, and more information around the upcoming project is expected to release in the coming months. The December 2023 reveal trailer for the game gave fans a great insight into the world of Vice City and the title's central characters, but there are many aspects of the release that are still clouded in uncertainty. While Granite the Outer 6 will re presumably aim to exceed the gameplay experience of GTA 5, there are many past highlights and harsh lessons from the franchise's history that can inform the upcoming game. The concept of single-player story expansions was lost in Granite Out of 5 despite the IP's successful history of story DLC, and Rockstar would do well to finally revive this tradition in GTA 6. While there are many past examples to look towards when thinking about possible DLC for GTA 5, one expansion for 1997 Granite Auto may be the best one for Rockstar to consider. GTA's London should be the blueprint for Granite Auto 6 story DLC. With over a decade having, a pace, uh, having, having passed since the launch of Granite Auto 5, it is clear to see why the expectations around GTA 6 are as high as they are. GTA 6 portrayal of the iconic Vice City is already shaping up to be jam-packed with detail, and it seems obvious that Rockstar is aiming for the game to be bigger and better than any of its predecessors. Away from the core gameplay of GTA 6 and its base game narrative, there is one clear area that the upcoming project can improve upon compared to Granted Out of 5, and this concerns post launch story expansions. Despite the staggering success of GTA 5, the game infamously never received story DLC, going against the grain of past popular GTA expansions like The Lost and Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony. This dehardening trend has formed across multiple Rockstar franchises, with Red Dead Redemption tools having no post launch narrative additions, despite how popular the Undead Nightmare expansion of its predecessor remains to this day. While the likes of The Lost and Damned flashed out GTA 4 in a constructive way, the expectations around GTA 6 should be met with a story DLC that takes place outside the base game location, and the upcoming game can look towards the original GTA 4 inspiration in this regard. Grand Theft Auto 6 has the, me the means to have expansions in a unique locations. GTA was the last mainline, mainline title for the franchise to feature the classic isometric perspective, yet the game still stands as a pioneer of the IP thanks to its story expansions GTA London 1969. As the name suggests, GTA London was set away from GTA 2's base setting of Anywhere City and gave a rare glimpse its 
settings outside of the United States for the franchise. Granted Auto 6's Vice City setting is already leading to rumors around other playable locations that might be included, with some fans believing that the game will feature Caribbean islands as secondary locations. One theory even suggests the Reddit Redemption's Guarma chapter was an acid test for tropical locations in GTA 6, and Rockstar should consider dedicating these locations to post-launch story expansions for the upcoming game. While it would be nice to still have some story expansions remain in Vice CD for GTA 6, the intrigue and variety in past expansions like GTA London make clear that GTA 6 should have at least one DLC that embraces an entirely new location. Picture an undead nightmare for this game, but maybe instead of zombies, you're dealing with ghosts and demonic spirits. All of Vice City and Lanida is haunted and covered in a thick, creepy mist, and every building you enter, like a gas station or grocery store, you encounter these grudge, the ring looking bitches that start crawling after you backwards and shit. Maybe have some empty cars randomly coming on on their own, trying to run you over. I think a DLC like that would be cool, would make certain parts of the map like the Everglades really spooky to go to, maybe randomly have a voice of child singing or laughing in the atmosphere to give off an eerie vibe, shit would be crazy. I would love a classic zombie apocalypse version of the map and NPCs, can even use that cars need gas mechanic people want so bad, slowly customizing your vehicle to be a zombie smasher and late night stealth missions to sneak into gas stations and get out with fuel would be awesome. Have some safe houses where you keep your arsenal and mats etc. Really ramp up the survival stuff like getting food, water and sleep while you go around the massive map saving save, uh, survivors. They are making a physics sandbox and world map that is ripe for implementation, uh, I mean for implementing all sorts of crazy ideas like that, that aren't typically GTA stuff. If they put a the time and energy into a survival horror mode, people would throw money at them forever, but we all would know that not going to happen. And uh, as it's fun to think about, even leaving GTA 6 alone and retrofitting GTA 5 to be an undead nightmare would keep the game played and bought for another decade, but again, not a chance of it happening in any way. Next up we go, remember that customization will be limited into a single player compared to online. Has to fit Jason and Lucia. I think people need to keep the level of customization in GTA 6 at a limit. Single player will have a to fit Jason and Lucia's characters. For example, I doubt you can get a big gold chain like the black guy in the trailer or weeks for him. Online will be 100% free reign. Yeah, I know that myself, you're playing as specific characters, you'll have some free re reigns, but overall their stuff will be limited to the, their characters. Most importantly, what I want in online is close physics, even just a little bit. Yes, close physics is a must, I'm pretty sure we are getting it too based on the leaks. My other request that I feel like is a must is the ability to wear whatever with whatever in moderation. In current GTA Online there are t-shirts that block jackets being worn over them, chains and watches that are blocked by certain short sleeve shirts, and masks that can't be worn with, over hat, uh, with other hat items even if the mask doesn't take up space for another item. Let me wear my watch under my long sleeve shirt, maybe close physics will let that sleeve right up your arm and show the watch a little bit when doing a certain action. So let me wear a bow tie with a tank top, let me wear a hoodie hunter and an unzipped zip up jacket etc. But in moderation meaning, I'm not expecting to be able to wear a full ski mask with glasses on over it, or a long sleeve shirt under a short sleeve shirt. That's all the information we got on today's video, and if you're really excited on more content on a daily basis on GTA 6, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, see you in the next one, and peace.